It's an audacious effort by the city of Chicago to pay for hundreds of megawatts of clean energy to offset power usage in the airports and every firehouse, police district, library and city owned building. The I team tracking Chicago energy usage with an exclusive look inside the clean energy compound. On a swath of land about three and a half hours southwest of downtown Chicago on what was once soybean fields sits a farm of a different kind. 1.6 million solar panels sprouting up, now helping to power the city. This is the largest solar park east of the Mississippi. Double Black Diamond's nearly 4,000 acres straddles both Sangamon and Morgan counties in central Illinois. Swift Current Energy, which owns the solar farm, says the nearly 600 megawatt power plant has the capacity to energize 100,000 homes. When you have places like the city of Chicago, Cook County, Loyola University willing to invest in renewables, help make projects like this happen, it is going to go a long way towards producing pollution free green power. Doug Ziegler is the senior director of asset management for Swift Current Energy. City officials say the solar farm supplies 70% of Chicago's 411 municipal buildings with electricity, including O'Hare, Midway, and the Jardine water purification plant. We wanted to leverage our buying power so that we could help to support the green economy. Chicago's chief sustainability officer and environment commissioner Angela Tovar says the city gets the remaining 30 percent of its energy through renewable energy credits from a power agreement with Constellation Energy. The focus on renewables coming as the cost of natural gas and electricity usage for the city has skyrocketed. The I team obtained and analyzed city energy costs over the past seven years, showing from 2017 to 2024, the city used 14% less natural gas, but costs went up 19%. Electricity use increased by 11% in that time, but the cost went up a whopping 80%. It's market pressures and then it's also the increased rate hikes. The city has invested $422 million for 100% clean electric power over the next five years, 84.4 million per year. Last year, Chicago paid 91.7 million for electricity. It's a better deal because it is a fixed price, which is the value of a power purchase agreement is that you get a fixed price over a certain amount of time. That will work in our favor in the long term. Walk me through how this works, harnessing solar energy and converting it into power that that hits the grid and eventually ends up in Chicago. They're collecting sunlight. That sunlight is converted to electrical energy on these panels. They feed into our substation, which is then ready for the highway of the transmission lines and getting it to the city. Swift Energy making a massive investment in the state. $800 million to stand up this solar farm with capabilities that try to make it as efficient as possible with these solar panels tilting on an axis following the sun in the sky. Just through this action, the city of Chicago is reducing our carbon footprint by 290,000 metric tons. That is the equivalent of taking 62,000 cars off the road every single year. You don't smell any smog, you don't smell any pollution. This is what the state of Illinois could be, and I think it's on the runway to do so. The city of Chicago now claiming 100% renewable electrical energy usage for its buildings and facilities through the solar farm contract and renewable energy credits and says it is exploring other options to increase renewable usage, including thermal energy for heat.